Great morning, I am Stacy A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. Let me show you something. Let me be the one to show you this book. They're all behind me, strategically placed. The Comfort Killer is Your Journey to Success. For those on the podcast world, you know the book, The Comfort Killer is Your Journey to Success, How to Change Your Life, using tools you already have, wrote this book. Uh, people have been saying, this is what people have been saying about this book. People say, Stacy, you're so practical. It's so usable. The information in it, holy shit, you actually outlined how to go from comfort to purpose because you've done it. You know, I'm not into the flim flam. I'm not here to joke with you. And I don't want to do it the way that everybody's been doing it. You know, because we've been taught to follow the crowd. We've been taught somewhere along the line, like it's okay to do what everyone else is doing because the wheel has already been invented. And in my previous post and information that you could always find on thecomfortkillers.com, we speak about reinventing the wheel because we spoke about the great folks of America and around the world that have reinvented the wheel. Today I want to talk about cutting the umbilical cord off. You know, baby comes out. What's being tied to the mama? Being tied for food. Okay, all right, it's useful. This umbilical cord was useful coming out of the womb, all up out the placenta, okay? And we've been, keep, we've been attaching it to different things since we were kids. If you hear me shout, what one place do you think you've uh, kept the umbilical cord attached to? Barb. You can just shout it out. What well, one place you think you you kept the umbilical cord attached to, even though it's not needed anymore? Hmm. I always catch you off the guard. Yeah, because I was reading a message. What what message were you reading? My supervisor. <laughs> See, you've been attached. You, you, well, that's it. So you've attached your but, umbilical cord to work. Okay. Well, it's your pipeline. To be uncomfortable. To being comfortable, my umbilical cord was attached to people that I thought were quote unquote better than I mm. because of, you know, let's say what they accomplished. Right now, I don't give a damn what anyone has done. All right? I'm pulling out the umbilical cord and actually pulling the wool from over, like, over my eyes. You know what I mean? So we just remained connected to all the We've things remained, that yeah. no longer serve us. Ooh! If you hear it, you're listening to Barbara in the background. She she said it. You you're still connected to things that no longer serve you. Uh, family, negative influences, and it's not just people. What kind of negative influences do you think? And you can type it here for those that are on uh, the beautiful Facebook. For those that are in the podcast land, send me an email for per, so for some exactness of what you think you have, you personally, have your umbilical cord still attached to. Old habits. Oh, boom, old habits no longer serving you. Um, People. You no know, growth in a job or something. Yeah, like, well, here's the thing. <laughs> we're, we're attached to the job itself. I, I cut the umbilical off. That was one of the scariest cuts. Right. Because, you know, when I don't know how many of you guys out here, if anyone has gotten that uncomfortable, where they decided to walk away from the cushy security of a nine to five of from a job you know i used to walk in there and things used to change and i used to say man i'm working so hard on somebody else's dream and i understand if you're still at your nine to five or at your employer because you need to earn capital or you're raising some young babies, I get it. Like, I'm not the one to be like, hey, listen, jump off that bridge if you're not 100%, your mindset is not 100% ready for that. Right. Because it is scary. The, the unknowingness of cutting the umbilical cord off 
of the employer is scary. Mm -hmm. And it's not for the weak. Because you're not, you're out here and you don't know where the next thing is coming from if you don't have that thing set up. Right? Like, I'm being real. Like, you know, like, it's, it's, it's fancy and it's, it looks good from other people. Oh, I left my nine to five. And look at me now. What the Comfort Killers does and what I do, Stacey A. Cross, there's no E in my name, founder of the Comfort Killers, wrote this beautiful book. The Comfort Killers, Your Journey to Success, How to Change Your Life, Using Tools You Already Have. Who is this book for? It's for those that seek the next step, the next level. Those that seek clarity. You want some motivation, this book will motivate you. You want, some, you want to overcome anything? Actually, get laid out the steps here, how to overcome anything. Without therapy, without men's. I'm big on that. You know, because here's the thing. I was afraid. I was ashamed. Like, somebody said, hey, listen, you need to go to Gamblers Anonymous. I was like, I ain't going up in there. <laughs> Hide my name is my ass. Okay, I'm not that was going. Like a, that was like a reality check. <laughs> I am not going up in there. Okay, just not doing it. So I decided, hey, let me let me change. But let's, talk, let's go back to the umbilical cord. Because we got it plugged in. We got it attached. As if we still need the food and nurturing from other people, places, and things. Um, some people have it attached to their youth. They can't get over their past. Mm. You know, they can't get over their past. So today's episode, we are going to cut the umbilical cord and we have a ceremony set up here on how to cut the umbilical cord and not give a flying boop. I need that. I need like little things like beep. <laughs> not give a flying <laughs> beep. <laughs> For real. Of, you know what? We're afraid. Fear. Fear, it's got us. But like we said yesterday on the, the, the and, podcast. And being comfortable. Being, well, that's the thing. Right. We want to be, the, the comfortable is known. Where mm -hmm. you are is known. That's why it's comfortable. Right. You know what to expect. You kind of know the ABCs of it. Ah, we're going to get uncomfortable. We're going to have a, sir, I wish I have a cake. Can we have a cake? Next time I want to blow out the candle on this comfort thing. You know what I mean? Blow it out. Uh, so here's how we cut off our umbilical cord for the, you know, we got to cut it off for the family. The family are expecting two, two things that like they, they fear two things. What do you think your family fears when you try to move forward and say, hey, yo, I'm out of here. This is what I want to do. And it's not a part of the cycle, not a part of the cushion that was already created and you're, you're attached by the umbilical. What, what was, is the one thing you think they fear? That you're gonna fail? That you're gonna fail? Okay. They fear that you're putting yourself in harm's way. Right? And it's fine. Like, my mom, you know, Stacy, you better, you better be careful, little girl. <laughs> you see, it's odd times over there. You know, Jamaicans that listen to this, they be like, that bitch ain't Jamaican. <laughs> you know, that chick ain't Jamaican. All right. So they fear you in harm's way, well, and they're fearing. Your failure. Are they fearing your failure though? Think about it. Are they really fearing y your failure? What do you think? Yeah. Or, or are they fearing themselves, putting themselves as you and how they fail? Oh, true. That they probably feel like they're not able to oh. keep, you know, their abilities. Their to, own ability. Right. They're throwing their own oh, abilities, right. their own feelings, their own thing on you. Mm -hmm. That's. That's very important. So they're not really afraid of you failing. They're putting their own failure on you. And the second reason here, guys, oh, this one's this one is important. This one right here, the second reason uh, people fear two things, and the reason why you gotta cut your umbilical cord off, family, friends, and all of this, is because they actually fear that you will succeed. Think about that. Right. <laughs> They're actually afraid that you will be overly successful, widely successful. That scares them. Mm -hmm. Think about it. They've tried to, you know, and it's not their fault. It's society. Hey, listen, they have tried. They failed. They've been brought back to comfort. And now here you go. They're afraid that you are going to succeed. Shit. 
Mm-hmm. But then after you succeed, what happens? They love you, man. Right. Very negative along the journey, and then oh, and then all of a sudden they're all for it. All of a sudden, Call give me, me. All of a sudden, give me, give me, give me, give me. Call me, man. <laughs> Call me. Right. See, my mom, she's give me, give me, give me right now. So I don't. She ain't changing up. <laughs> give me now. <laughs> give me later. <laughs> um, you know, working for others is very important. We gotta cut the umbilical cord. But like I said, I'm not out here, and I'm not. I'm not going to tell you. It's you have to have such a bulletproof mindset to jump off to run off, to get the hell away, okay? I did it, and I'm, te I'm actually working on a webinar now, and the webinar is, uh, let me see if I have it, it's to discover the fastest route to your purpose and learn how to turn it into profit, you know, without wasting your time at weekend seminars or on expensive coaches. We had it. Bam! Boom! We had it. That, uh, that webinar is coming up. I'm actually getting that prepared to come out to you guys uh, very soon. And you could, you know, just keep in touch on thecomfortkillers.com. That's where, you know, I'm tired. I'm just freaking tired of people getting ran. Ran through. Ran through the damn, you know, what is that? You know, you put a spaghetti, you put the flour in and out comes spaghetti. That's who you are. Like, you know, I'm just tired of that. I want to give it to you raw. Like, this is how you find your purpose. Okay, this is how to turn it into profits. You don't need to go every other weekend. I know some people that seminar hops, like the shit was going out of stock. <laughs> Get out of the damn seminar, go do something, okay? And if you don't learn from the first or second seminar, there's nothing the third or the fourth will teach you. Teach you, okay? And not, not to say, hey, listen, you want to go to there to network, great, all right? But just make sure you know who you are walking in there, all right? So... The comfort killers, we're about, we're about to change all of that. So if you want to work for others, great. You're raising capital. You're raising a young family. You're unable yet to, to jump off the bridge just totally like I did. That's fine. Um, but here's the thing. 100% discomfort. 100% discomfort. I am super uncomfortable. Especially, I got to pay my rent. <laughs> I got to pay the rent. Um. So, so the negative influences, the, the influences, the naysayers, you got to cut your umbilical cord off for. So let us here have a um, ceremony for the cutting of the umbilical cord. And what I want to say is the song that I'm going to play for the cutting of the umbilical cord is this one. And this song is J-Rock, so it's not mine. And I want you guys to just cut off the umbilical cord, okay? Enough, 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 enough for the ceremonies. So here's what you need to do. A, look about who's around you. Negative influencers, naysayers. Are you working for others but not working on your own self? Not working on your own dreams? Not working for something bigger? Leaving a legacy behind? Going all out there for the money, the moolah. It is your birthright. Hey, cut it off from your family if they ain't doing it right, okay? If they are throwing their own doubt on you, if they are throwing their own failure on you, cut off the umbilical cord, okay? It's very simple. Hey, I'm going to need this to be stopped right now, Bob. Hey, guys, that's today's show. Cut off the umbilical cord. Hope you learned something. If you found this valuable, go ahead and share it to a friend. Send it to your family. I don't care. Send it to them. Say, this is why I'm cutting the umbilical cord off of you because people fear two things. Seeing me successful and they want to keep me out of harm's way. But here's the thing. I made it now. I made it. I have to keep going forward. I have to keep going forward. Guys, email me hello at thecomfortkillers.com. Remember, the new, the new, new and improved webinar is coming out where I'm just, I just had it. I really had it. And this is why I'm giving you this thing here. Discovering the fastest route to your purpose and learn how to turn it into profits without wasting your damn weekends at seminars or your hard-earned 
on expensive coaches. That is that is the name of the game, of the webinar. So hit me up, thecomfortkillers.com, and also the book is available now. Stacey A. Cross, The Comfort Killers, Your Journey to Success. To Success. To success. <laughs> success. success. <laughs> How to change your life using tools you already have. I believe that everyone already has the tools within them. Uh, today, I already I posted on thecomfortkillers.com. There's an article there that says, the one trait that you'll need. Mm -hmm. There's only one trait that you'll need to become successful. Do you remember what that trait is? Don't tell me. Oh. Go to thecomfortkillers.com. <laughs> read that. There's a video. It's about 30 minute video that I deliver to you. Go to that and get that. Cut the umbilical cord off, bro. Peace. I am Stacey A. Cross. There is no E in my name. Until next time.